George Clooney could well have it, Bill Clinton too, and maybe you as well. A group of scientists has announced the discovery of the first gene that causes our hair to go grey early in life, which means we can't be that far off, surely, developing a way to prevent this very visible part of our ageing process. With me is one of the co-authors of the report and statistical genet geneticist at University College London, Kawusuf Adhikari. Thank you for being with us. Tell us about your me. research. So our research was looking at a group of Latin Americans at five different countries of Latin America. So it was a huge collaborative study. And we looked at these people's hair features, we looked at what genetic markers they have. And for each hair feature, we tried to find out which genes are most strongly associated with each of these hair features. And this was this particular gene, IRF4, which was the only gene which came up to be strongly associated with hair graying. And this is hair going gray at an early age, though? Because no, uh, we are looking at hair graying for everyone who participates at our study, and we look at their age. So it's not premature graying or late graying, but it's graying at a certain age. So we could say that having a particular type of this gene would give you a higher chance of having hair graying at any certain age. So is there a different gene, perhaps, for some people who do start to gray in their 20s? Yes, definitely. Because this genetic variant that we are looking at for IRF4 is present only in Europeans, if you look at continental populations, and that to only 15% of Europeans. So it ends up being present in Latin Americans about 8%. So for other continents and people who have praying there, definitely have some other genetic variants. So the big question is, what do you need to do to turn this gene off? As so it we don't need to turn this specific gene off because there are definitely a lot of other genes in tandem working to reduce what is called melanin, which is a naturally occurring pigment in our hair, skin, and eyes. So if we can control that pathway by targeting, say, specific proteins through drugs, then that would help us control uh, hair color or even hair graying. Quick question, how far off is this well, then? Well, that's still quite far because this is really the first gene for hair graying. So we need to understand more, first the genetics, and then build up drugs on our understanding. Thank you very much for joining us, probably a few years away then. Thank you. Do sit with us here on BBC World News still to come. We meet the book hustlers who are keeping paperbacks alive in Johannesburg.